Angela Irene. Thank you so much for being here today and for joining our budget life. If you're new here, it's all things budgeting, savings challenges, and getting ready for retirement, and basically just trying to have our money work as hard as it can for us. So this time around, guys, we have a lot going on. We have brand new binders. We have a brand new budget. I'll go over that with everybody, and it'll be the first time we've done the entire budget. And we have $4,250 to stuff today. We have our sinking funds. We have our cash envelopes, and we are ready to go. Okay, before we get going on stuffing, let's talk about our budget. This one is brand new. We've had a lot of changes since the last time we've talked. Uh, we sold our house. We moved on to my parents' property. Uh, we've downsized quite a bit. We've gone from a three-bedroom, two-bath to a two-bedroom, one-bath little bungalow, which is totally adorable. But it's come with a few things that we didn't have before, like propane. So let me go over our, our actual budget, and that way you know kind of where we're coming from and where we're headed. Um, my husband has the sole income for us. We are a single income family. His salary is $4,390. He gets paid once a month. Um, I broke this up into two different categories in our bills. We have the bills that are associated with the house, living here on the property, and then we have our actual bills. So our portion of the house is 500. Our electric bill on average is around 400. It is expensive to live out in the middle of nowhere, which we have found out. Um, insurance is 200 and this insurance covers home and auto for us. That's why that one seems a little high. Uh, WLC. Okay. So this one would be water, laundry, and doggy cookies. Um, we share a well on the property. So in order to pump, it costs electricity. So we figured $60 between that and then the doggy cookies that our chunky, chunky child consumes over at the grandparents' house. So we're doing $60 a month for that. Uh, our portion of the garbage, that's just really not a great way to say garbage. I guess you could say waste, but that doesn't sound much better, is $20 a month. Propane on average is $100. And then we have a category for repairs. This building is now 20 years old and is starting to show its age. So we're putting $100 a month away for things that, well, will be coming up. Okay, and so that part of our house is $1,380. These would be our normal standard bills. Life insurance is 20, cable is 240, the cell phones are 90, our streaming media, you know, Hulu and the like is 25. DMV for registration is 65. Auto maintenance, we're hoping $100 will cover it. Again, we've got some things coming up that are going to need to be fixed. Um, unfortunately, the trailer, okay. Uh, we did not have an extra bedroom for our daughter who still lives at home. So we ended up getting a travel trailer and it is hooked up to the house and we're putting together $50 a month uh, in case anything starts happening with the trailer because that's kind of our life. And then we did have uh, one loan. We had a kind of a gap loan for the repairs we did on our house that we just sold. This is a $5,000 loan. It is interest-free for the first 12 months. So clearly we're going to be paying that off within the year. So the payment for that will be $420. So the bill portion is $1,010. So when you add these up, our bill total is $2,390. We subtract that from the $4,390. That leaves us an even $2,000. That worked out nicely, actually. So we're going to drop that down to our cash envelopes. These are my categories for my cash envelopes I carry with every day. Groceries, we have five, excuse me, we have 400 for the month. Gas, we have 600 for the month. This is a problem. We keep going over on that one. Health is $100. And that would be, you know, so shampoo, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we have an extra $15 for pet needs in case we run out of something or need something. Miscellaneous, I have $50. I might as well just call that gas because I keep stealing this money to help pay for gas that we're short. 
eating out is 60. So when we total our cash envelopes, it's 1,225 subtracted from our 2,000 that we have left, that gives us 775. We're gonna carry that up here to our sinking funds. We have Christmas at 225, birthdays at 40, anniversaries at 20, Mother's Day and Father's Day both at 10. We have subscriptions and that would be um, things that we need for the computer, um, Amazon, you know, that kind of thing. That's $30 a month and the emergency fund right now I have 40. I think when we ease up a little here, we're going to increase that. Our sinking funds total 375. We take that away from our 775, that gives us 400. I'm not going to pay anything extra towards debt this time around. And our savings, we have 400 to spend. So we're going to do 52 week savings challenge, $150. Our 100 envelope challenge, $110. And in our actual savings account in the bank, we're going to put $140. And that's $400 minus $400, that leaves us zero. We are a zero-based balance budget. So if you take the $43.90 from my husband, you subtract the bills, the, the cash envelopes, the sinking funds, and what we're going to pay towards our uh, savings, that leaves us with zero dollars. That means every single dollar in our budget has a job. It has something to do. Um, you know, we don't have just extra money just kind of hanging out. Every dollar has something to do on our budget. And that way, you know, there isn't any fudging. We know exactly where it's coming. We know exactly where it's going. Okay, let's get stuffing. Here is my brand new binder for the house. I love this binder. All right, the very first one is the house and that is going to be 500. Here is our $4,200. Okay, so we're going to take one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take a 50, two 20s, and a 10, one, Three, four, fifty, seventy, ninety, and five hundred. I always like to have some small bills in there because you just never know. Okay, the electric is four hundred. That'll be one, two, three, and then we'll do five twenties. One, two, three, four, and five. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 4. I'm hoping that in the winter when we switch mainly uh, to propane for heating, that'll go down a little bit. Okay, the insurance policy is 200. 1 and 2. The <laughs> The water, laundry, and cookies, that one is 60, 20, 40, 60. Garbage, like I said, there's no real nice way. What would you say? What would you <laughs> call this? Waste, that didn't sound any better to me. Uh, this one is 20. Okay, propane is 100, that's a $100 bill. And repairs, we're going to do 100 for now, but we would also like to increase this one. All right, so that was the home part of our bills. Okay, and I love this one too. This one is the bill bill part of our bills all right life insurance is 20. i hope everybody is having a good month let me know down below how are you doing with gas that is the one i am struggling with the most and gas going up <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that envelope is still going to be tough for me. Okay, cable is 240 so we're going to do 200 
20 and 40. So these are 90. I'll do a 50 and two 20s. 50, 70, and 90. Our streaming media, this is 25, 20, and 5. Okay, DMV, this one is 65. I'm going to do a 50, 10, and 5. Okay, our auto maintenance. We're going to need to do $100, and like I said, we're going to hope that we don't exceed this one, at least right away. The trailer is 50 And our 5K loan, this one is 420 One, two, three, four, and 20 one, two, three, four, twenty. All right, and that will do for our house and bills. Let me grab the cash envelopes. I'll be right back. Now, before we can actually stuff our cash envelopes, we have to unstuff them. All right, these are the ones I use every day. Groceries, gas, health, pet needs, miscellaneous, and eating out. These are the ones I carry in my wallet. And I have a trick for groceries, and I take it back here. I will do anything I can not to break that. So I am always trying to keep my $100 bill. So basically, even though I have 400 in here, I pretend I have 300. And more times than not, I get to keep it. Uh, gas, not so much. Health, <laughs> not so much. Pet needs, not so much. I ended up buying cookies. Miscellaneous, might as well call it gas. And eating out, good luck. We always go through that one. <laughs> All right, so this month it's looking a, a little bleak. I'm happy that we have the hundred. How are you guys doing on food? Is it going absolutely nuts over you are too? I paid, some, I don't know, I paid five something for carton of eggs. I thought I was gonna die. I always feel so old talking about, I remember when, but you know, I have to keep remembering we're getting close to retirement. So uh, I kind of remember when, ugh. All right, let's see what we have left. Okay, we have 110, 25, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that was what, 151? 10, 25, 35, 45, mm -mm, 40, and then 11. So 151. All right. Can't do math in my head anymore to save my soul. Okay, we're going to hang on to this and we will apply that to our savings challenges at the very end. Let's put that over here. All right, and let's get stuffing on these guys. Okay, I'm going to keep groceries at 400. You know, some of the meals ooh, have been really, really wonky. But I'm hoping now that we're moved in and I'm actually finding things like, you know, forks, I can actually do some cooking. Because I'd like to show you how we're eating right now. Sometimes we eat okay, and sometimes, you know, it's a little more junky food than I, I care for. But it's real. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Okay, so I always start with $100. Again, I will do anything I can not to break this. All right, and then one, two, three, four, four, five, two, three. Okay. 
20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, plus my 100 is $400. All right, our trusty start to the month. Wish us luck. Okay, gas, Ugh, 600. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to do... I usually don't do big bills for gas, but our tanks have been anywhere from 120, you know, 135. I drive a big old SUV with a 30 gallon tank. So I might as well start with some big bills anyway, because that's kind of what I'm going with right now. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80. That'll make us 400. 20, 40, 60. 80, that'll make us 500, 520, 540, 560, 70, 80, 90, 5, 600. This is such an ouch always for me. Okay, 320, 40, 60, 80, 420, 40, 80, 520, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, and 600. This one is always such an ouch. I'm sure it is for you too. This is just a ugh, ugh. All right, health is an even 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1. And even though our main store here in our little town is Walmart, I still try to split up the order, um, you know, on the health on one end, groceries on the other. The girls generally don't have an issue with that when I do that. Okay, pet is 15, 10, and 15. I have had an occasional nurse Cratchit have an absolute fit. You know, somebody waiting behind me, but come on, it's like five items. Please just let me separate it. <laughs> Miscellaneous is 50. Okay, 20, 40, and 50. Like I said, lately I should just call this gas because that's kind of what I keep snagging this money for. Eating out is 60. I know 20, 40, 60. We really need to get rid of this envelope, but yet here we are. And it's probably gonna stay that way. All right, so these would be all of my regulars. Put these back and let me grab the sinking funds. All right, all of our little sinking funds. I like to, like birthdays, I say $40, but I have an envelope for each of the four categories. So that's how I end up with, well, quite a few. All right, Christmas is 225. Take the last of our 100s, 20. And five. And I love this one so much. It comes in this little carrier. I just love that. Here we have the four birthdays. They are forty dollars, so we'll take four tens. Our youngest just had her birthday. And I can't believe she's 21. Scary. Just how much time flies. So we have one for each of our girls. I have one for mom and dad combined. And then I have one for my husband and myself. Combine ours too. All right, our anniversaries, that's $20 a 10 and a 10. So mom and dad, they get 10. And we get 10. One of these days, we're going to make it to Disneyland. I am obsessed. Hopefully we get there one of these days. All right, Mother's Day and Father's Day. I know everybody say it with me because I say it every month. I love this one so much. Daisies are so happy. All right, each one of these is $10. I had somebody message me and ask me, you know, it, it's $10. I mean, what are you going to do with $10? Okay, granted, $10 may not buy you much, much for one month, 
But if you do it every single month, at the end of the year, that's $120. You know, that is a nice little chunk of change. You can do something with that, let me tell you. All right, subscriptions are 30, 20, and 10. And emergency, again, ugh, I wish I could do more with this one. Once the budget kind of works itself out, I'm hoping to add a lot more to that one. Okay, that's 40 for emergency. All right, and that would be all of our sinking funds. Okay, and then we have money for our 52 week savings challenge and the 100 envelope um, challenge. So I will grab both of those. And the savings account, $140, I have already transferred that. That's why instead of $43.90, we have the $42.50 because I just went ahead and transferred that. Um, via the online banking. So let me grab these two and we'll finish up the, our stuffing. Can you believe it? We're almost done. All right, our 52 week savings challenge. We have our little box. I cannot believe we are right here. It is unbelievable. I have week 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Um, that takes us through October 29th. So this time around, because of the way the calendar fell, we have five to fill. So the first one is week 40, and that is $20. Oh, excuse me, it's $40, so 20 and 40. This is a pretty little envelope. I think these, let's see, these are smaller. Let's do this one in thirds. I always forget how I'm gonna put these in here. Okay, 41 is 20. Forty-two is thirty. You know, in the beginning I tried doing this, you know, like every week, but since my husband gets paid once a month, it just made more sense just to stuff them when we pay bills. Now I'm gonna stuff them anyway, I might as well. 43 is 20. Oh, it was just seemed easier to <laughs> keep on track. Didn't spend any money. You thought you may have extra. I mean, you know, that kind of happens. And 44 is 40. And at the end of our 52 week savings challenge, we will have $1,400. Some have a little less, some have a little more, depending on where they start with numbers and, and whatnot. Okay, let's put these in. All right. And then I will fill in from this one up. My goodness, we are so close now. And I don't know about you, but this time of year goes by so fast. It from oh my gosh, it just goes so fast. All right, so let's do the hundred envelope savings challenge. Now I had a hundred and ten dollars, and I know that twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and twenty nine. That's going to add up. So let me grab those found the 26, 27, 28, and 29. This thing is getting nice and full too. I'm so excited. This is taking us a little while. You know, this one at the end will be $5,050. Uh, you know, we didn't really give a time frame for this one because we knew uh, this one's going to take a little bit. Okay, 26. I need 25 and 6. These ones were not, these were made by a different artisan. So these ones are a little thinner, so they have a little more give. 27. 26 and 27. 
And when we undo this, we'll have a little bit more than the 50-50. Um, sometimes if I didn't have ones, I just sort of, you know, and so instead of like, um, you know, like 28, you put in 30, you know, so we'll end up with a little extra like that. Okay, this will be 28, 25, 26, 27, 28, but it'll be pretty close though. But when we're done, oh my gosh, $5,000, that will truly be amazing. This kind of budgeting has saved our lives. It really has. 29, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And just like that, wow, our cash is gone. We do have one more little bit of business to do. I'll go ahead and let me fill these in. But it feels good to finally be getting somewhere though. I mean, we're doing, we're doing it. We're doing the work. We're doing the work. What can I say? All right. Now these, yeah, I don't know if, um, <laughs> this is going to fit in the box. We'll have to, it's starting to get a little more challenging. All right. Let's put this over here. I'm running out of room. All right. Now we still have the money from our cash envelopes. This is what we had left. All right. And I do have, our savings challenges. And if you are new, we have finished our savings by number. That's $400. And we finished our, our love, our little piggies, the breaking the bank. This one was $500 and we have two left. We have show me the money, honey, and I have three left. So all we have left are $15 for this one. And we have just a few of the dice down here. So you know what? We're going to be, I will finish these today, but I do have, remember these, these were going to be our overflow savings challenges. And we did fill in some of these already, which is nice. So we will keep going with whatever we have left for the rest of the year. I have this one for these guys here. Well, the two that we have yet to finish and the two that we've already finished. So we'll put the money in there. And then I was just on top of things and I started on next year's. But instead of having this big format, I'm going to see about having everything in the smaller format. I think it'll be a little easier just to keep it all in a binder. So it's, you know, 52 week challenge and then the 100, 100, 300, 500. This one, you know, always kind of takes care of all the little ones that are hanging around. And then bingo blackout for, you know, the miscellaneous bills. I'd like to start a rainy day fund. And our youngest, you know, she's dating a little more serious, so I probably should have started this a long, long time ago. We didn't really have the funds, but I'm going to start on a wedding day fund. You never know. <laughs> One of these days. So let's start with this. Oh, let me grab my pen, my color pencils. Okay, grab the yellow and the blue. Yeah, I know I have fives, so let's... Let's finish this one. All right, this was the money that we had left over from our envelopes. All right, we have five, 10, and 15, and that will close out this one. I'm so excited. You know, when, oh, I really need to shop this. When I started making these, I kept thinking to myself, you know what, it would be so cool if we actually got to finish these in the same year. And you know what, so far we are, I am just, I am so giddy. We get to finish another one. All right, so show me the money, honey. 
This one I get to close completely like the other ones. Another one bites the dust. Hey, no copyright. Okay. And blue. Okay. Let's see what kind of ones we got going on here. All right. So here's a one. I'm going to color in that one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, I have a five and a one here. Let's do the six. Okay, so we have five and then ten. And then I have ten. Okay, I have another ten. So one and four and five. So that's ten. Okay, so I have a twenty or a hundred left. Um, you know, I don't know if I want to break this because I can take it out of, you know, I could actually, hmm, I might, I might do a little of rearranging with the cash. All right, I'll add these up. Let's see what we'll do with this. Hold on. Okay. I ended up with 27 left to fill in a hundred dollar bill. So I subtracted the two and it's $73, 20, 40, 65, 70, one, two, three. So we took $73 out of here. So now that we're filled, I should have $200 in here. So we'll start with our hundred, 10, 25, 30, five, 40, five, 50, five, 60, five, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two hundred. All right, so we added up correctly, so that's good. Okay, so then I will finish filling this in and we will be completely done with these savings challenges. So at the end of the year, we'll add this up with everything else. I'll finish putting these together. And I think what I'm going to do with this money, instead of starting on our overflow, you know what, I think I'm going to put this towards our 100 envelope challenge. We didn't count on it. I might as well put it in there. So I think that's where that's going to go. Wow, guys. Um, so that is our new budget. That is what we're dealing with, and we're working on it. I hope everyone is still budgeting. I hope you're just trying every day to start that day the best you can. After all, all you can do is just take it one day at a time. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Keep saving, keep challenging yourself. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for coming today.